welcome again to our series on self discipline. Today we're going to be talking about self discipline in time. There is perhaps no area in your life where self discipline is more important than in the way you manage your time. Time management is a core discipline that largely determines the quality of your life. Everyone that is created by God has 24 hours in a day. The only difference between one person or another is in the way the person manages their time. Like I said, everyone has 24 hours. So, this lesson is not going to change the amount of time you have. You still have 24 hours. The only difference is in the way you manage those times. Therefore, the key to time management is in reallocation of your time from certain activities to others. Now, time is very precious. Time has certain peculiarities that make it extremely valuable. Number one, time is perishable. Time is perishable because you cannot save time. You have to use it. If you do not use it, it is gone. You cannot save it, you cannot preserve it. Number two, time is irreplaceable. It means you cannot save time. Once you do not use time, it is gone. You cannot replace time with something else. You cannot substitute time with something else. Number three, time is irretrievable. Once time is spent, once time is not used or it is wasted, it is gone. You cannot go back in the past and bring back that time. Once it is gone, it is gone. Number four, time is indispensable. Everything you need to achieve in life, every achievement, every accomplishment, every success requires time. Therefore, time is indispensable. Therefore, in the next few minutes, we're going to show you some tips towards effective time management using self-discipline. Number one, you have to plan. It is said that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Therefore, it is good to plan out your activities for the day before you start them. A good time to do this is usually a day before, the night before. Sit down, write down all your activities that consist the 24-hour period. After you have planned this, the next thing to do, number two, is to prioritize. Now, how do you prioritize? You look at all those activities and you begin to rank them. Now you rank them with a tool we call the A, B, C, D, E tool. A, activities that you rank A are those activities that have dire consequences if you do not do them. B, have moderate consequences if you do not do them. C, have no consequence whether you do them or not. D, are activities that you do not have to do yourself, you delegate them. E, are those activities that you do not need to do, you eliminate them completely from your list. Now, after you have ranked your activities with this tool, if you have several A activities, then you go to step two. You now rank the A activities according to A1, A2, A3, and so forth. A1 being the most important activity. And once you have done that, Choose A1 and sit down and concentrate on that activity until you get it done. Number three, procrastination. Procrastination is said to be the thief of time. Therefore, at all costs, you must avoid to procrastinate. Once you have an activity to do, sit down and invest the time and effort required to do that activity until you complete it. Stop procrastination. There is a trick. Tell yourself that you only want to invest five minutes of your time in this activity so that you can start and overcome the initial inertia that such activities present. Once you overcome that, you will see that you will have much more interest to accomplish that activity. These are the things that you can do to help you save time, to help you manage your time effectively. Now you must do high quality, high value activities rather than low quality, low value activities. 
at every point in time, you must ask yourself, what is the most important use of my time at this period? Once you can answer that question, choose that activity, sit down, put in the effort, put in the time, and do that activity. Do all this, and you will see that your time is precious. Your time will become so useful to you, and you will accomplish success in life. Self-discipline is the watchword. See you again.